important when you're skiing that you have to blend the range and rate of your lateral and rotational separation so that it matches the radius of your turns. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah? I see number one. You see number one, okay. Make sure that you've got a skeletally stacked posture so you can balance the centrifugal and centripetal forces. And you might find that learning about skiing technique might seem pretty confusing. The good news is that it doesn't have to be and that is why I have broken it down into the two golden rules of skiing technique. Hi, I'm George, I'm a ski instructor and over the past 10 years, I have taught thousands of people how to build confidence and have more fun on their skis. I've taught people of all ages, abilities, backgrounds, shapes and sizes from three-year-old beginners to 70-year-old first-timers. The more I've done it, the more I've realized that there are two golden rules which sum up the most important parts of skiing technique. If you can make sure that you're nailing these two golden rules, you'll shortcut past a lot of these common problems, you'll have a steeper learning curve, and you'll have a lot more confidence and control allowing you to enjoy the main attraction, and that is enjoying these beautiful mountain landscapes with your friends and family. So golden rule number one is to balance on the outer ski whilst turning. The outer ski is the ski furthest from the center of the turn. If you're turning to the right, you'll be more balanced over your left leg. Similar to if you're jogging and you want to turn right, you'll jump off your left leg. Similar to how the weight shifts the outside wheels on a turning car, your momentum is going to shift onto your outside leg as you turn. If you take this into account, you'll find it easier to maintain control. Now here's three scenarios where ticking golden rule number one and balancing over the outer ski is going to help. If you're a beginner and you're hoping to keep your skis parallel as you turn, start by making sure you are balanced on the outer ski. It will then become easier to move the inside ski and bring it into parallel. Number two. If you are an intermediate and you're looking to gain more confidence in steeper terrain, start by making sure you are balanced over the downhill ski. It may seem scary at first, but you will soon realize it gives you far more control. More about this in video eight. And number three, if you're advanced and you're trying to carve tighter turns, make sure you are balanced on that outer ski early in the turn. Balancing on the outside ski is something that we teach to beginners as soon as they start turning but it is also something that Olympic racers have to keep reminding themselves as they try to turn and race around tight corners. Our brains are used to leaning in when we turn, but in skiing, balancing over the outside ski will give you more control. Some people like to think of the outside ski as the braking or controlling ski. So when you go skiing, whether you are beginner, intermediate or advanced, here's a useful exercise to test whether you are achieving golden rule number one. Start by balancing on one foot while standing still. Can you balance on one leg for five seconds? Progress by traversing across a slope and lifting the inside ski whilst you are sliding along. You can develop the drill by doing turns and lifting the inside ski after you turn. Start by doing multiple quick little lifts but then challenge yourself to see if you can balance on one leg for longer if you're feeling confident. Then you can complete the exercise by trying to balance on the outer ski the whole way around the turn. Whether it is easy or difficult for you, doing this drill as a regular warm up will improve your balance, technique and control. If you find it difficult to keep your inside leg up, it tells you that you're usually overbalanced on that leg. Another common mistake is to lean back and you get quick feedback if you are because the front of your ski is going to be higher like you're doing a wheelie. Now, as you advance to skiing all sorts of different types of snow conditions, there will be some scenarios where you will balance more of your weight on the inside ski later on. 
However, before you start thinking about more advanced techniques for different snow conditions, it's important to build a posture where you have control of the outer ski first. Getting used to balancing on your outer ski will give you better control, more grip and higher confidence. We'll cover in a later video some of the scenarios where more of the weight is on the inner ski and that is going to be great fun as well. So now you understand golden rule number one, you're halfway there to having solid skiing technique. Next up we'll cover golden rule number two and if you can understand and implement both rules together I assure you that you'll have more confidence, more control and more fun.